Well, what's up guys? This is Steve for Android at Night, and today I'm going to be showing you what is on my Nexus 6P. As you can see at the moment, um, you can see myself, seeing myself, I use a direct camera app with my Panasonic Lumix camera, which allows me to um, see what is on the screen and remotely control it uh, via my 6P. But now I'm going to take you down and I'm going to show you uh, the home screen that I'm rocking on my 6P and take you through a couple of the apps that I've been using recently. So we're going to start with the home screen that I'm rocking. As you can see, I've got a couple of widgets um, and a sort of very messy app page here. This is the page I use for all the apps I'm thinking of reviewing. So they all go into one page, um, into folders, and then I can review them from there. But on my main home screen, I've got a setup where I've just got a dock, and this is a scrollable dock. The launcher that I'm running is the new ADW launcher. It's the beta version um, of the new app. And it's one of the few launchers that I found that can actually contest with Action Launcher 3 and Nova Launcher. Most of you guys will know that I've been running Nova Launcher for the last couple of years. Um, but ADW, I've been running for the last couple of days and actually it's really, really nice. If you want to get into the beta program, you can go to the link in the description to get the app. And then you also need to go to the Google Plus page, which I'll put a link to in the description as well. And if you sign up there, you'll be able to get this beta version and try it out. The icon pack that I'm using at the moment is Impulse. And just along the bottom here, I've got some Google apps, I've got my social apps. Um, a stuff folder, which I always have, which has stuff like Google Keep and Pocket, um, my photos, Drive, Evernote and Docs. And then here I have a life folder. I've got a MyFit app, which is for the wearable that I use at the moment, which I'm going to be doing a video on. It's sort of £15. Pounds. Uh, it doesn't have a display on it, but just gives you notification vibrations um, and stuff like that and tracks your fitness. Then I've also got Trainline and Headspace, which if you're into meditation is really, really nice. Um, I'm not sort of religious or spiritual at all, um, but Headspace is a very sort of secular, not scientific, but sort of straight edged kind of um, kind of meditation and works really, really nicely. It's a really nice way to start the day to sort of get into a good Headspace, I guess. But that's that. I've then got Chrome. And if I scroll across here, I've then got Spotify, phone, Play Store, camera. And here I have AZ Screen Recorder. I'm going to be doing a separate video on this because um, it really is that good. But it's a screen recording app that doesn't require root, which is really, really nice. The wallpaper on this is actually a live wallpaper. It's called Material Islands. And again, I'm going to do a separate video on this because um, it's one of my new favorite live wallpapers. There are different island versions within the wallpaper. So you can see you've got Isle of Alps, Isle of Ice, Lava, Paradise, Isle of Sand and Isle of Urbanity. And as the time changes throughout the day, the wallpaper changes to match um, with the time. And at the top here, we've got a search widget, which is from the Unity 2 pack of Zupa widgets. Then if we go onto the next screen, this is the new agenda calendar widget by the guys who make the month calendar. It's really, really nice. There's a bunch of different themes you can use. Um, I forget exactly which one this is, but if we go into here, we can have a quick look. So there's a bunch of these ones that are all free. And then you scroll through and you start to get to some paid ones. But it's a real nice um, agenda kind of widget, which will show you everything you've got coming up, which is all I really want out of a calendar widget. And it looks really nice and scales full screen pretty nicely as well. And then on the next page, we've got this, which is the Clara weather widget, which I really like because it gives you precipitation in this little bar chart along the bottom here. I've then also got this widget, which allows me to turn twilight on and off. Twilight adjusts the brightness of your screen depending on the time of day, so it means you can use your phone at night and you don't get any of the harmful or harmful blue light which um, keeps you awake. And at the top here we've got a widget for Pocket Casts, which is my favourite podcast manager, um, seeing as quite a few podcasts still aren't on Spotify. And then if we go across again, we've got a widget for Flamingo, which is my current favourite Twitter app. It's just a very nice, clean, material design Twitter application. I guess the only other thing to talk about in this video is the keyboard that I'm using and I've gone back to using the Chroma keyboard which I really like for a couple of reasons. Firstly you always get the number row at the top which is really useful and then also this will adapt to the colour of the keyboard depending on the app you're using. So as you can see if you open it up in Google Keep it'll go yellow and it does this across the board. It's a real nice little touch um, that I really enjoy. So there you are guys, that is what I am running on my Nexus 6P at the moment. Let me know in the comments below if you've got any questions about this setup. I am going to start doing more regular videos, which are not necessarily going to be everything on my phone. They're going to be similar to this. 
they're going to be just showing you the home screen that I'm using. I do change my home screens pretty much every other day, so I'm going to start trying to get most of them recorded to show you guys because um, there's a couple of pretty interesting ones. But let me know in the comments below what else you guys want to see on the channel. Please do like this video if you've enjoyed it and go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. As always, you can follow me on my social media accounts with the links in the description. Um, I've become much more active on Twitter and Instagram recently and I'm loving the interaction I'm having with you guys. It sort of reminded me why I started doing these things in the first place. That is what is on my Nexus 6P at the moment and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.